if there's anything you don't like, just be like, ah, cut it, and then we'll cut just... It. Uh, cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. <laughs> hey guys, so today on Motivational Monday we have Mr. Brian Hollinsworth, also known as at Holly underscore, no? Cut? At Holly underscore and yeah. Uh. You know, to cut there, that's cool. I have known Brian. Brian is basically my longest friend. Yeah, like since like two, probably even since birth. I probably since, yeah. In the same hospital, same time, same. No, no you're older than me. <laughs> Same school, though. Yeah, same, yeah. same nursery, same so, primary school, same secondary school. Basically, living next door to each other. Brian is chosen family. Uh, not his choice, mine. He <laughs> doesn't really have a choice. <laughs> doesn't have a choice. Um, if you see any of my logo, any of my artwork, any of the designs that come with uh, Neve's journey, it is all this genius. He is a <laughs> graphic designer, um, self-taught. And then also I did go to school. Yeah, you did go. Dropped out. I went yeah. for it, but I dropped out first year. But because you knew that we'll get onto it. We'll get onto oh, it. God, Jesus God. Christ. Uh, <laughs> um, yes, I would say self-taught after education, mm -hmm. um, and also has taught previously on uh, different design aspects, graphic design aspects, um, to different classes and stuff like that. But I'm gonna let Brian give a little bit more of an insight to what he does, who he is, his brand, etc., etc. I started designing when I was 16, but doing it for about 10 years now, a whole decade. Can't mm. give away my age, but because um, I teach as well. Uh, I also recently started a blog this year. Called and, uh, Design Times. So the Design Times dot That's the blog. It's just basically about design news, trends, opinions, anything that's happening in the design world. It will be on there. Um, I run a business called Hollingsworth and that's my main thing that I do, um, branding, logos, brochures, anything really man, anything to do with design, I can design it, apps, websites, whatever, that's, that's, yeah, that's Hollingsworth and the colleague. Okay. Yeah, I used to teach, I've been teaching for about, uh, about five years, I've kind of taken a hiatus now but I'm getting back to it next year, um, going to try and open a little online school, so look out. Dope, I didn't know that. Yeah. Kept that one on a hush. Low, bro. Before we were meant to be a team in that. Bam, oh, no, what no, happened? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so obviously you've been uh, doing graphics since since you were 16. Mm -hmm. how, have you, how have you found it? What, what sort of challenges have you faced along the way? Challenges? Oh my god. <laughs> well, we have six years of brokenness. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You have that kind of um, teaming period where you're just kind of learning everything. Mm. So you don't really have clients, you're just kind of learning and just doing a little bit of work here and there, made up projects. So I think the learning years could be like two, three years where you actually get decent enough to actually be able to charge. Yeah, so then there's that teaming and then there's dealing with people. Mm. Nobody tells you how to deal with people. Mm. You get all kinds of clients, all kinds of mad people, like, yeah. I think that's the, that's the, the hardest part challenge. of this is dealing with people. The service you, aspect yeah, of it. Yeah, the service part. Like the design you could do. Client facing service. Yeah, cause design is what you do. That's, mm. that's like, like you and the computer and you and yourself. Mm. But people? How have, you learned to, how have you learned to manage it? You just have to, just have to be nice. You have to be a people person. You can't be a professional. Just to be, you have to be professional. So yeah. if whoever they are, as long as you've got your lines right, that's it. Just get your lines right. Just mm. know that different people's coming your way, man. You're not going to meet. There's no such thing as the perfect client. Everyone's different, man. Like, yeah. Everyone's not the perfect client. Like... And uh, driving I have, to, same. I have to tell her to take some shit down. Like, why are you, why are you doing that? Call me. I got you. <laughs> Literally, I'll post <laughs> things, and he's like, "Bruh, why does it look like that? Take it down <laughs> now." Is, yeah, because Give it makes me look bad. Because if you say I'm your designer and you post some shit, yeah, you're gonna think it's me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm sorry, man. Come on, let me do my job, man. <laughs> like, yeah, that's something you you taught me. Is like, yeah, like uh, what do you mean? You do what stop you stop trying to do everything. <laughs> yeah, you say like, you, you always fit in. Well, Brian also hasn't really, we, we haven't touched on it, but like, Brian is actually partly uh, my graphics uh, guy, but also partly a consultant. Um, yeah, yeah, we, look, we do a, major, we do we do a lot. Day, yeah, 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 literally pretty much every day, like, uh, talking about new ideas. Um, yeah, yeah, and that, I have an idea, and he has an idea, I'm just like, yo, you think it's all right, cool. And it's not even just for, for me, like, mm. I know sometimes you throw some things at me, and I'm like, yo! Yeah. You need to get that done because yeah. it's going to be big. So we, we kind of bounce off of each other and it's really useful. And because we've known each other for uh, our, literally our entire lives, yeah. like, yeah. you're one of those people that would be like, that looks whack. You're yeah. not doing yeah. enough. Yeah, yeah, you need it. to be doing more. Yeah, yeah, like, right. I said in one of my first videos, the one that introduced Motivational Mondays, mm -hmm. 
you tell the people around you that uh, push you. Mm. Not just be like, oh yeah, that's really nice. Mm. That's like really... I'll give it to you straight. <laughs> you may have started graphic designing at 16. Mm. When did you figure out you had an artistic talent? Oh, that's from young. Do you know what it is? Everyone, every kid draws in it, but then when you kind of draw in it, you can kind of see that this kid's taking this drawing a bit, a bit far, like, he's yeah, drawing yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, everyone stops in it, but I just continued. Yeah. It's kind of partly up to my dad, actually, because he's, he's like a, a carpenter, kind of, we used to be an engineer. So he used to do a lot of drawings of, like, things that he would build, like tables and chest of drawers and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So I used to be looking at him drawing and then go and draw my own. Oh, and then come yeah, and show yeah, him yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. So that kind of just kept me going. And then after that, my had an older cousin, he wanted to be an architect. So I just, after that, I followed him. He was interested in comics, so we used to draw a lot from the comics. Yeah. So it's kind of just, it's kind of just people that have, that have helped me keep, yeah. keep it going, as a, as a kid anyway. Yeah. Then my auntie, my cousin's mum, obviously. My auntie. The same, <laughs> the same cousin. <laughs> My auntie just kind of bought us me all this artistic stuff and eventually just kept drawing, drawing. I kind of wanted to be an architect before because mm. I didn't know about graphic design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you did actually want to be an architect. Yeah, I remember that. The longest, yeah. <coughs> my auntie sent me to this um, summer course called Louverture in um, Goldsmiths. And then I did everything. I did stage lighting, dancing, mm. acting, web design, yeah. video editing. Then eventually just got into graphic design and then I just... You felt I just like liked it. Was, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just yeah, yeah. liked it, and then from there, uh, I was doing the stuff, and then my mum saw me do it on the computer, and she was like, "No, I think you should do design because mm. it looks like that's what you're good at." Yeah. So then from there, obviously, I just had so much encouragement and so much support from people. So from mm. there, I've just kind of kept it on. Um. So we know what you're good at. We know what mm. have, what challenges yeah. you. But what what um what motivates you? I just want to be good. And I think that's what motivates me. I just want to be good at something. Mm. Like, I don't like to produce crap work. If I look at it, it's like, it's crap. I'm not going to deliver it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It needs to be good. <coughs> yeah. Because partly because I see good things, I'm like, okay, that looks good. Then I, I want to get to that person's level. Like, I see a logo, I see an illustration or mm. a booklet or something. I'm like, no, this is dope. I want to get to, like, this kind of level. Not that I'm always comparing myself. I don't never compare myself to people. But I'm like, no, I need to be good. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So I can yeah. be up there. Mm. I'm not going to do something. I'm, well, I'm going to do something. I'm not good at it. That makes sense. <laughs> Do something or don't do it, like, or yeah, you know, yeah, do yeah. it good or don't do it. Like, why, why would you, what? <laughs> like, are you, you know, you're out. No, yeah, but just you've, always, you've always said that, you've said that to me, and it's, it's one of those things. And hopefully, this is not what you're gonna steal as your motivational quote, but like, you're talking about you don't do grey, yeah, and I don't do grey. So, but I'm black and white in the sense of, um, this is what it is, this is what it is. And, yeah. I'm black and white in the sense of, I do this, I don't do this, I am this, I am not this. Yeah. That's how, that's in the sense of black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then sometimes it can come across a bit extreme, so people have to take me in doses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what's next? What's next for Brian Hollingsworth, Holly, and the Design Times? I know you've got some big things, and try and give a little bit more than a little. So maybe like <laughs> a lot, <a> little. <laughs> Uh, next year, well, I've got a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, boy, it's gonna be big. Um, I'm just kind of relaunching the whole business thing. I used to be called Mr. Brian Design, but I thought it was a bit childish, so I changed it to Hollingsworth and yeah, because well, my business name is actually registered as yeah. Um, so I'm kind of doing a whole relaunch of trying to just do proposals for businesses and trying to get a lot of work, influx of work. Uh, so I'm working on that. I'm launching that like January. Um, I'm running a blog, which I'm intending to do a podcast for. Yeah. But I'm gonna wait until I get a bit more of, of you guys subscribe. That's why he's gonna <laughs> wait until y'all subscribe to his channel to do a podcast. Um, but what? What? So the the weekly thing? Oh um, uh, yeah, gonna be I'm gonna try on YouTube as well. So I'm gonna try and follow Neve's example and do a little YouTube. Oh, hey, big in the guy. Weekly noise, weekly voiceover videos, kind of update what's happening in the design world, kind of thing. I'm um, still working out the kinks, but it should launch January. Yeah, and then on top of that, next year I want to try and teach online. I used to teach like physically in a classroom, but obviously mm. that's limited to people and geolocation and computers. But when it's online, I just record a video, upload it, and then people can download it whether they're sleeping, whether they're in Istanbul or wherever they are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to just set all that up and just kind of get back into the teaching mode. Cause... I can't wait, man. That's going to be dope. What I try to leave the viewers with each week is a lovely uh, quote or statement um, for them to motivate them for the week. The biggest advice I can give to anyone is be you. Be you because I don't know, but there ain't nobody else to be. Like, yeah. who is you? I don't know. That's for you to find out, I guess. Mm. It, 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 it helps you uh, whittle down the, the crack from the life. So if you're you, 
you'll find out who your friends are. Yeah, yeah. You'll find out what you can do, what you can't do. You'll find out who you need and who you don't need. Yeah. Where, where you fit in and where you don't fit in. If you're always trying to, you know, be in next people's business or trying to be catch up to someone else or trying to do someone else's thing, mm. you're always you're always fall past the mediocre line. When you're you, you can only be the best you. Because mm. the only thing left from being a be- the the best you is a mediocre somebody else. Mm. Sure. So and you following that person is because they're themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're if you're really if you're really following them, yeah, follow the example of them being themselves. Yeah, and you be the best yourself. Mm. So find out what you like. Find out what suits you. Find out what you can do the best. I find out I can do art the best. So I stick to that. Mm. Not that I don't do anything else. Yeah. And the people that you like, anyone you've ever seen that's ever been great has only been themselves. Like I'm looking at these bookshelf over there. You've got Malcolm Minx, Barack Obama, Nelson Mandela, Gandhi. They've all been themselves. Mm. That's why people like them. Mm. Don't, don't simmer down. Don't quiet down. Don't decrease yourself for nobody. Just shine your shine your light, bro, man. Shine in it. <laughs> Just shine in it. <laughs> I cannot shine be in it. That's the quote. <laughs> Work out. So apart from being you, why you do something? Because I couldn't have gone these ten years if I didn't have a deeper reason for why I did graphics. Not just something I like or something I'm good at. There's mm. a, there's a something that kept me there. Because there's so many times I feel like quitting. Oh, yeah. It's good for when you find, but finding that thing. Mm-hmm. Find like your saying, why, because it will keep you. Like if Neve's just doing this because she wants to be famous or get a hundred thousand views and then get all the fame, that's not going to hold her. Because mm. when you get fame, you get haters as well. You're going to get a lot of slack and crap that like comments and people yeah, that yeah, don't yeah. like you for no reason. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's not about getting fame. You, you have to have a purpose for it. Have a proper deeper reason why you yeah. actually do something. Yeah, yeah, hundred like, percent. Change the world or make someone's life better or something. Just beyond the beyond the surface. I will talk about my reasons for yeah, motivational better. Monday on my one, which is next week Monday. Where can people find you? Uh, you can find my portfolio at Hollingsworth and dot uk. Um, my blog is the Design Times uk. All of that will be linked below. So for you guys who are looking for for graphic work, I'm not I'm not saying it just because my like my boy. I'm saying it because his work is good. Do you know what I'm saying? I forced him to come on here. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. For all you graphic designers out there, also give it a thumbs up and follow the Design Times on uh, the social media linked below. You're gonna find out some weekly updates, which is gonna be super dope. Yeah. Um, I appreciate having you on here. No, no. Thank you. I'm very grateful for having you. <laughs> I've been trying to avoid it for the longest. Months. Yeah. Episode 12 we're on now. <laughs> episode 12. This is but episode no, 12. Honestly, thank you for having me on. Man. No man. Big, yeah. big, big. I appreciate it. Perfect. Until next time, take care. Much love. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Good morning, people. Today on Motivation. Wait, it's the night. Why are you lying? Fam! Why are you lying to him? It's night time. Because they're going to watch it in the morning. Alright, go, go, go. Alright, alright. <laughs> Getting yeah, a yeah, lot of my close friends in first. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> Baby. Time in it. Uh, Can you imagine that just being the status like <laughs> motivation or Mando, Brian Hollands shine, shine in it. it. <laughs> shine in it, blood. Like. Just shine, blood. Like. But blood, are you shining though? What light are you shining? Fine. What? What well, I'm going are for you the shine, shining? Though. Like what? What? Get what I'm saying? Like four hundred. Well, oh, really... Hiya, how are you? I'm alright. I'm just in the in middle of an interview. Can I give you a call back? I suppose you didn't say they've got an accent that would have killed me. Cop, <laughs> cop. <laughs> anyway, I can't speak true. Right? Just cut that. Yeah, I can't wear this again because you know, celebrity it. status people wear, you wear it once and you kind of. That's okay, then. No, we'll just make it like you say the thing. Okay, go forth. Go forth, my son. <laughs> be motivation, motiv- motivational? Yeah. Cringe. <laughs> Get them bloopers, yeah. Get them bloopers! <laughs> Do you watch these? Yeah, come, come to me if I watch these. Yeah! <laughs> Continued, but you think you started it because I, I had two left feet. I used to dance when I was like, yeah, yeah, so. It's gone in, gone in, and guy, guy and knees, man. So, yeah, you got, right. you, you got that ribbon, man. You come out dancing, <laughs> like, you come out of women. Like. <laughs> yeah. I look like I can't dance in this video. This yeah, is yeah, awkward. Really, she actually used to be a professional dancer, like. Love me, man. Love me, man. When you do yours, in it, we're exposed. Maybe I should come do yours and interview. Do you know how many people have, have threatened me of this? Yeah, you need of to be this. threatened. We all, we'll all come together. Closer, closer, closer.